some apps are strictly for hookups. <laughs> if you, if that isn't I true. swear to God, I thought you were going to say hookers for a second, even though I know that some apps are specific. I'm sure there's an app for that too. <laughs> I'm sure there is. It used to say that a lady's name should only appear in the newspaper as a birth announcement or a death announcement. Oh, I didn't know. I've never heard that before. If you're not ready for that, what I call full exposure, because some... (laughs) Sorry, it's great. It's the the double entendre of it all, Lois. Hello and welcome to Silver and Sensational. I'm your host, Jessica Lynn Verdi, bringing the young perspective with me, as always, is the sensational silver, Lois Mills. It is I. Hello, everyone. It's Lois welcoming you to another episode of Silver and Sensational. Thank you so much for tuning in. We have a really exciting announcement before we get started today. We are kicking off a subscriber giveaway. Once we hit 2,500 subscribers, Lois and I will be giving away the entire collection of the Jones Road Miracle Bomb. If you don't know about this stuff, just know that no matter what age you are, this stuff literally is as it claims to be a miracle for your face. It is kind of in fashion with the light to no makeup world and all of the colors are something beautiful for every skin tone. I'm jealous of whoever's going to win this. So you subscribe now, get us to 2,500 subscribers. And once we get to 2,500 subscribers, we'll let you know how you can enter that giveaway and get that entire collection of the Jones Road Miracle Bomb. Isn't that exciting, Lois? It's very exciting. And so just to let all of you know, I don't, I used to use foundation when recording and I don't anymore. I only use the Miracle Balm with under eye concealer. That's it. I didn't know that. Absolutely. It's all I use. It's what I use every day. And I decided, you know what? Even though I will say Jones Rhodes has a wonderful foundation that I like very much, I just don't like the feel of foundation. And so this is just... Anyway, you're going to love it. So It's an everyday miracle, literally. It but, really is. But that's what's awesome about the entire Jones Rhodes collection is that it's all really wonderful. You can't really go wrong with a Bobbi Brown product. And well, and let's just say that this is totally unsponsored. That's true as well. We just really um, adore the product. I just love the product. So I pass it on to all of you out there. It gives you color, it gives you glow, and it it doesn't have a lot of cover-ups. But if you don't need a lot of cover-up, and you can make do with, you know, her face pencil covering up some spots, and this, I'll tell you, it's it not only that, it cuts down the amount of time you spend in front of the mirror. But anyway, enough commercial for someone who's not paying me. <laughs> 2,500 subscribers, guys. Let's go. We can do that. Lois, today you and I are here to talk about dating, which a lot of our audience has asked us to talk about. Um, You being a single woman, an independent woman, I am now not hitched, but might as well be, um, but spent plenty of time either dating the wrong guy or just hanging out with cats. This It seems like a simple subject, but there's so much to talk about when it comes to dating. And today we're focusing on being ready to date. So why do we want to focus on that specifically first? Well, because sometimes, you know, um, some of us just aren't ready to date. And Uh, so, you know, it's, you just don't feel that there's a, you know, that you are ready. Now, there, I'm, I'm not talking to the people who, uh, really don't have an interest in dating and find their current single life to be a happy, fulfilling life. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the people that, you know, are kind of trying to put your toe in the water, you know, thinking, am I ready to date? But I don't know where to start. So we're going to try to help you find out how to really start 
someone someone that's ready to date but doesn't quite know how to, I would say, is my mother. Because she wants that meet cute situation. She wants to make sure she finds the guy in the right place and it's magic. And I don't know that that's how this world works anymore. Well. <laughs> so, how, but how would, how would someone like, how do we start? How do we get okay. started? Well, you know, obviously, and I say obviously because the most talked about way to found dates is on online, online dating platforms. And, you know, many, many, many people uh, tons of people find their dates this way. But if you're not ready for that, what I call f- full exposure, <sighs> because some... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's great. If the, the well, double entendre of it all, Lois. I know, I know, I know. But you know, before I started doing commercial work, and certainly before this, I had an aversion to being found online. I see. That's very co- common. I think and I think that, that there's I can't fault you for that. No, it 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 actually it, it was just something and it really, you know, in the olden 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 days even before my time, which is kind of before Christ. Right, got it. Okay. It used to say that a lady's name should only appear uh, in a in the newspaper as a birth announcement or a death announcement. Oh, I didn't know. I've never heard that before. Oh, goes, this is, you know, back to the 1800s, early <gasps> 1900s. But, you know, today with social media, you know, again, social media has sort of broken that barrier of not wanting to be online. But on the other hand, you know, you could be on Facebook with, you know, with very little personal information. But when you're on a dating site, you do need to give a lot of, well, at least a few pictures and some information about yourself. So that may be intimidating. So just for the moment, uh, there are other ways uh, to find dates and Starting points would be, well, friends and family. You know, I remember at a point many years ago when I, um, after I was divorced and some years after that, when I finally felt ready to date, you know, I would just put the word out to people that, hey, if you know somebody, you know, I would love to meet them. And so that's one way. And sometimes it works. Sometimes it, you know, all of this is, all of it is just a crapshoot. Although what I like about that, Lois, and something is we share this similarity in philosophy, by speaking it out loud, by saying you're ready to date, by telling your friends and family you're ready exactly. to date, it kind of tells the universe, quite yes. literally, you're inviting this this thing into your life. Yes, you're open to it. And maybe you were closed before. So now, you, as soon as you speak something, you pretty much own it. So, yes. you know, so that's one way. And of course, you know, volunteering, because there's, um, there are opportunities t- for both men and women, because um, many people, you know, have the time after a certain age there, and when they're not working, or they're not working to the st- same extent, there, um, they have the time to volunteer, and so there's an opportunity to meet people there. Um, Smart, yeah, and also you know community centers, libraries, and by community centers, I'm talking about you know almost every community, whether it's you know from a, a, a religious point of uh, a religious uh, opportunity, many churches and synagogues have. Um, other, you know, some social events. Right. And, and also, you know, many community centers have different classes. And again, you know, a Tai Chi class is going to be, as an example, a, a Tai Chi class is going to be um, probably attended by both men and women. I, you know, a, a knitting class probably isn't. So, you know, start getting these things in your head uh, when, you know, make it into like a mini job, you know. Uh, I said that exact same thing, Lois. Actually, to your mother? No, yeah, God, it, no. My oh, mom, okay. this, my mom's a different top, topic altogether. And I love her. Um, we'll talk about that perhaps another time. Um, 
But I actually, I rather than I'll say this now because it was said to me, if I really want to date, if I'm really open to meeting new people, it's my job now to find a man, which I loathed that idea that I had to, I needed a man that badly that I had to commit to it as though it were work. However, you do have to put yourself out there. You do have to, you do have to make a certain time commitment and uh, you need to put yourself out there. And if you have, you know, any of any hobbies you may have, hiking, maybe book clubs, um, you know, special interest groups, that you can find, especially, you know, like, oh, you know, go on Next Neighbor or, you know, is anyone interested in doing X, Y, Z? Block parties in the summer are like one way, like check out a block party or like there's fest. So it, it also sounds like, too, we all know that you don't have to have a million shared interests with your partner, but finding your shared interest may be a good opportunity Join a bowling league if you love bowling, right? Like you said, right. you like crush. They're there if, and that's someone you could already. Even if you just make a good friend, you're you're doing something you love and potentially meeting it, someone that has a shared interest. You're you're ahead of the game. If you Am meet I? a good friend that <laughs> happens to be someone that you have, you know, started out having some a uh, different kind of interest, and in, you're still ahead of the game because you have met a good friend. Oh, I see exactly what you're saying. Yeah, at the very least, you have a, a shared you, interest friend. You haven't lost a thing. And we'll get to the job in a, a little bit later in terms of what the time you need to put in. And uh, if, now, that's some some ways to meet people. In the real world. In the real world, if you don't want to do online dating. But... Should you choose to do online dating, there's there's a few things you really should be aware of ahead of time. And, uh, you know, firstly, you want to pick your apps wisely. Mm. I'm sure and, a lot of people are intimidated by the plethora of apps and, and or if you see an ad for one app, you think that's the one and then get discouraged when you haven't found anybody on there. Well... The, also, you know, you need to know what the apps are for. Ah. You know, some apps are strictly for hookups. <laughs> if you, if that isn't I true. swear to God, I thought you were going to say hookers for a second, even though I know that some apps are specific. I'm sure there's an app for that, too. <laughs> I'm sure there is. But some apps re are, are strictly for hookups. Gotcha. Uh you need to know this ahead of time if it's not your game, you know, but um, I I have here, and I'm going to read this. I love this. It's, it's a list from Forbes Health 2024, Top Dating Sites for Seniors. Now, you can find it it's in its entirety online. But and we'll link, I will link it in our, in our description, too. Beautiful. So... Their health staff went through all of the websites, and I'm I'm saying these are for seniors. Um, perhaps you don't want to do strictly for seniors, but from my own experience, if you're a female, you already know that men want women much younger than what they are. So... <laughs> If you're going on a you know an app that's more for young singles, uh, you're going to be disappointed. So try to find the right the app that's right for you. And let me give you uh, what they have. So the app they find best for people new to online dating is Senior Match. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know about this one. Uh, best for local events and meetups is our time. Uh, see, I love that because it's it sounds like it's less you're going to date this one person, but here's an opportunity to meet right. people that in your yeah. in yeah. your age range. Wow, I love that. Okay, and then it's best video call feature, singles fifty. Okay, okay. Best for international dating for those of us thinking of moving abroad or wanting to meet people ahead of time, elite singles. Interesting. 
Now, best for most suggested matches per day. <laughs> Silver singles. I There is a dopamine hit when you've matched, I'm telling you. <laughs> and uh, now that's one that's time consuming. If it's the most suggested matches per that's day. That's exactly right. Ah, best unique features, plenty of fish. Now, I do know someone who was on Plenty of Fish, and she met so many men. Wow. It wasn't even fun. Literally in the name. Right. And then there's one for Christians called Christian Cafe. Okay. Okay. Best customer support. So I guess if you're not really too computer savvy, maybe this might be for you. Oh, wow. Just great. senior singles. And... Pers- the people with the best best blah, 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 best matchmaking algorithm is eHarmony. Wow. So there you have, and, and I kind of trust because it's Forbes help, I kind of yeah. trust them. But this is something, you know, just go through, you know, when you, if you go to the online site for this, you will see they have, they really break it down into pros and cons, what the fees are. So you get a very full picture. And then, of course, the only way to do anything is to try it. There you go. I think that's right. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit before we move on about when I dipped my toe into the online dating world. Yeah. Um, this is going to sound really judgmental, which I try to avoid. Um, but nothing was more pathetic to me than when a man who was well over 50 was trying to hit on me when I was in my 20s. I was very, very sad for that man. That I It works for some people. I, I, I have opinions as to why I feel like men are attracted to women who are younger. Um, but I know for a fact that there are men out there who aren't interested in only dating younger women. There are. There really are. So that should not be a deterrent to older women who think that men their age don't want to date them. There are, those are a different category of men that hit on the 25 year old Jessica that you don't want anything to do with anyway. And not all men are that dude. No, 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 no. You know, the, um, there are men who want an intellectual equal, a maturity equal, um, a golf partner who they can also sleep with or kiss. You know, they're someone who can experience life in the same way as them mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I, I I can see the reason why a lot of women would feel discouraged by those guys out there because they exist. They're not the only men out there. So and yeah. just so you know, the, us twenty five year uh, us at twenty five don't want them either <laughs> unless they unless they're buying us a, a, a condo. <laughs> For which you will pay dearly. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's correct. <laughs> In ways we don't want to pay. <laughs> yes. I won't get down and dirty. We'll just move along. <laughs> I know. I don't even know if I'll keep this in. Um, so now that you've decided to try it, Lowe's, what's next? I, I, Especially if I'm someone who's never done this before, I'm very intimidated by this. Well, it is an intimidating process. But so the first thing, of course, is is or are the photos. And I do beg you to use current photos, please. How would you like it, you know, if this guy posted, he's 85 and he posted a photo of him when he's 55, and then you meet him for coffee and this is what you see. So right away, let's, we want to start with, let's do honesty. Not everybody online dating sites, they're not all honest. But if you're honest, then you're not put in a situation where the guy sees you and says, what's going on? Oh, that's exactly right. So feel, you know, besides, you want somebody who wants you for who you are, not for some whatever that you're not. So if you're, whether you're looking for companionship, uh, a quick roll in the hay, whatever it is you're looking for, you still want to be wanted for you. So that makes me think, 
don't use filters on your on your pictures. It's a huge no. it contingency of people who love using filters on the internet, and it's so obvious, but it might not be obvious to the you know baby boomer generation of daters that you're ha- you have a filter on. And you're not doing yourself any favors. But at the same time, when you're showing a realistic photo, it's not, okay, well, here's my love handles and here's my thick cankles that you don't, you're st- you're still presenting yourself in the best light. You, you still want to show yourself happy. Absolutely, positively. And, you know, the first or cover photo, whatever you're going to use, you know, you really need to have a genuine smile with eye- eyes crinkling and maybe head slightly tilted where it's an inviting photograph. We all have one of those pictures. And I, I I would not make the mistake to assume that everyone that's watching this show or listening has done the amount of self-esteem work that I have to accept myself. Even if I, even if there are days where I'm like, ooh, I do not like what I'm seeing in the mirror, I still love myself. I still don't mind looking at myself in the camera. You just have to trust that what people see, they will like. They will love you for who you are. And if you're at your most happiest, that's a very attractive picture and feature. Absolutely. And then, you know, perhaps, you know, uh, a few photographs of you in action, you know, doing something or, um, you know, if you're a runner, be there in your in your jogging so if it's your job, it's making me think you have to do a little photo shoot with your friends. Well, to be to be honest with you, I do know of 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 somebody who has a very successful business, and um, there are people that actually help do your dating profile. I stand corrected. I love this idea. Well, it's very expensive. Oh, I will there, say that it go. is not inexpensive. But they will be there for the photo shoot. They will do all of the things. They will help you with. Wow. Uh, but again, you can look them up. They um, they are not. They do not uh, put you. To, they're not matchmakers. Although for even additional money, they will help you go through the matches to determine which might be best for you. But. You can look them up online if you have the money and want to invest it in this. Go ahead, but I'm giving you just a very brief of ideas of what you should do when you're putting this together. This is really good information. You could ask your daughter to help you. You know what I mean? There's certain ways you can dip your toe in. Absolutely, and so you know, it's it. Think of it as. A photo shoot. You're on a job. And so the next part is after you're finished being photographer, then you have to become writer. Now, please don't be intimidated by any of this stuff because you need to write thing, you know, what you need to not write enough about you so that you appear to be interesting. So f- <laughs> Even if you think you're dull and boring, okay? There are things about you that make you unique. There are things about you that make you interesting. If you don't know what they are or you just have think that you don't, ask some of your friends what it is they like about you. Ooh, you know, that's making me think, because I have advice for if you're comfortable writing this essay, and I know you have a couple of pieces of advice too, but there are some people who have asked friends to write reviews and then you could put that up. Like, can you write me a three sentence review about me and be a little honest, but be a little cute. And, you know, Brenda says I'm fun and da, 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 da. That could be really, really cute. That's a fabulous idea. It's a fabulous idea. So that's, Let's make 70% of your essay about you and about 30% of it about what you're looking for. And please be specific. With the important caveat, not what you're not looking for. Because if you present the negatives of, I'm not looking for a guy who's living with his mom. And, you know, I'm talking about my age range. Like, 
there's there's been times where I get so bitter about the people I've matched with that I feel like I need to say specifically, I don't want to date a guy who's only looking for a hookup. I don't want you can rephrase those things in a positive what I'm looking for way rather than looking bitter. Oh, absolutely. Oh, I, and, I, and one other thing I want to say before we do, if you're a little intimidated about writing, you, you can definitely overthink it. The way I would approach it is let me write it as though I'm meeting somebody for the first time and they just ask me about myself and then edit that down rather than feeling like you need to be totally clever. Do your best to be top of mind, stream of conscious because you're also reflecting your personality in that way as well. Yeah, yeah. Now, the last thing is you need to be open-minded. And you can't expect someone to check all your boxes. There we go. That's great. So here's where I say you really need to treat this as a job. You will get matches. And as you go through them, you know, don't immediately eliminate people because say you're you you're a runner and uh this guy you know he's he's could be interesting to you but or gal uh, but they don't run mm. well is your life 100% running um if if you've been married before or in a long-term relationship you are accustomed to having somebody in your life with whom you've developed this compatibility. Even if you weren't compatible, by that I mean there's a comfort level, you like to eat at the same time, <laughs> <laughs> you like to go to the same this petrol... Low, this is a low bar, low. <laughs> Guess what I'm trying to say is, ladies, this is a new relationship. This is somebody who has lived an entire life before you. Wow. So do not expect that he pick up where your husband <gasps> left off. Damn, Lois. That is some severe knowledge. Dropping right, what beautiful and intelligent. I, 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 I am, I am warning you that those first dates could become so disappointing if buried in the back of your head, even you're expecting this person to come in and fill the shoes of somebody you've been with for X number of years. Lois, worse than that, some people won't even get to that date with somebody they could actually ha be happy with because they've made the decision by looking on the profile that they won't fill those shoes. I, I would say this, and I knew I was right while I was flipping through these guys that liked me or while I was looking, I was, I swiped past plenty of people who I would have had very nice relationships with because of their picture. And I know for a fact that I find men more attractive once I've gotten to know them. And I didn't even give them a, tra a chance because I didn't initially find them somewhat attractive. That's me. I do the same thing. So I'm just saying oh, that has he's its got negatives. facial hair. Yeah. <laughs> um, he's got facial hair. Sure. Sw swipe. You see, I, I can just say this for myself. Truth be told. I was never that eager to date that I was, you would do all kinds of things. At certain points in my life, yes. Sure. Recently, not so. But I might take it up just because we're talking about it and it would be good for me to do so we could continue talking about dating. But I have to tell you, there was a gal who did a spreadsheet Oh, no. Oh, she no. Would, she used it as a stand-up bit. She did a spreadsheet. She had 75 <gasps> dates 
And I can't remember in what length of time it was. It was maybe three years, something like that. And she actually did the, you know, the, the spreadsheet. You know, my experience with this has always been, um, and I had a gentleman say to me, well, Lois, I'm, I, I really find it unfortunate that men have asked you just for coffee or just for a drink. And this gentleman said, I always uh, ask a lady for dinner. I said, well, I, cons- I can't even remember someone asking me for dinner. It's always, can we meet for a drink? Can we meet sure. for coffee? Sure. And then they make this huge mistake. After a certain amount of time having the drink, when it looks like it's coming to a close, they'll stay, say to me, well, would you like to stay on for dinner? And I invariably will say, no, you said specifically for drinks. So I made other dinner arrangements. And believe me, I have gone up to my room when I was in New York and ordered room service. I am not available for testing. Wow. Wow. So, you know, I'm saying this. I've also met men for coffee who, are you ready for this, ladies? This guy arrived 10 minutes early and had his coffee so he didn't have to pay for a goddamn cup of coffee. Well, then I'd walk out probably. Okay. So, wow. there, you know, you're going to meet a lot of frogs. That's, you know, the old saying. You're going to meet a lot of frogs before you find a prince and as well as kiss a lot before you find a prince. Sure. But. You can't find him if you're not doing that. Right. So now comes the point where you need to really sift through the people that you are being matched with and get out there, try the dates, you know, today. It's not, you know, it's not unheard of. I mean, a lot of women ask men out. In fact, there is a site which isn't necessarily for seniors called Bumble. Yes. In which it's the women who do the choosing. That's right. So if that's more your cup of tea, then there's Bumble where you do the choosing. And then I'll just say briefly. Of the men I know who are on dating sites, the one thing they universally say to me is, oh my God, these women were married to just the most dreadful men. Oh, oh no. You know what, ladies? Let me tell you something. You talk about how bad your husband was to your girlfriend's. Not to someone you're dating. Wow. Okay. Because I don't know if you've heard men talk about how dreadful their wife was, but for me, that's a complete turnoff because I've lived life, I've been married, and I know there's his story, her story, and the real story. There you go. So, wow. Keep that to yourself. I mean, it is definitely something as a relationship's getting more serious where you kind of do the exchange of, oh yeah, this happened. This is not first, second date conversation. Absolutely you- not. Absolutely Ooh, not. That makes me cringe, and, Lois. Yeah. It, but, but, you know, it doesn't make you attractive. Yeah. And the idea is, is don't, we all want to present ourselves as the most attractive we can be. And it's not inauthentic. It's just not the time for this conversation. It's exactly. It's just not the time. Wow. There's so much we can talk about with regards to this, Lois. I have, I feel like you've given us so much information well, on how to do this. At least it's a way to get started and we're going to do another episode about online dating in which we'll discuss being safe and some tips on how to do it to your advantage. So hopefully by the time 
you've watched this episode and started to put yourself out there, before you go on that next date, you'll have our video next week on how to go on that date safely. We'd love to hear about your journey. If you have been on a dating app, uh, we would love to hear about your nightmare dates too. Not to scare other people, but we know you're going to have them. Lois, uh, I love doing this show with you. Thank you for sharing your expertise. Oh, thank. Uh, listen, I adore be being with you and doing it, and I adore all of the people out there. Jessica, how can they reach us? Well, if you have any specific questions for Lois, we always welcome a, a letter via email at silverinsensational at gmail.com. We're on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram, all at sen silver and sensational. And Lois, if our friends are watching us on YouTube, what should they be doing? Well, the first thing you should be doing with or without Miracle Glow, Miracle Bomb, <laughs> is subscribe. And hit like and do share us with your friends, family, whatever. But not the guy you're dating, is. though, because we don't want not, him to know your secrets. No, absolutely not. And uh, do hit the notification bell so you know when our new episodes drop, although they do drop every Friday. And please add some comments into the comment box. In the meantime, I thank you immensely for joining us. We enjoy doing this with you. And Jessica, thank you, and have a wonderful week, and we'll pick up again next week. See you next week, Lois. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Thanks so much for watching us today, and please hit like, subscribe, and do share us with your friends. And again, we love having you as our audience. Stay with us. See us every Friday for a new episode.